Chopsticks. They're not just for enjoying ramen. Giving the illusion that you're thinking. Passing the time away. Woo! -hoo. Acting like a walrus. Or a unicorn. Did you know you could turn your regular old chopstick into a magic wand? No? Well, today I'm gonna show you how to do just that. In just a few easy steps, I'll help you make a wand even Ollivander would be proud of. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. First, you'll need some chopsticks, some acrylic paint, a paintbrush, newspaper, a hot glue gun, and some extra glue sticks. And this part is optional, but some sealant spray or Mod Podge is recommended to keep the paint from smudging while you're casting spells. Lay out your newspaper so we don't make a mess. And pinpoint the bottom and the top of your wand. Now taking your hot glue gun, and make sure it's plenty hot. You're going to start creating the handle of your wand. Now this is done simply by spreading the glue along the bottom of the chopstick in long connected lines. The length of the handle is up to your preference, and don't worry about how neat this is done. I think that the messier it is, the more it looks like real wood. You see? You have something like this. Now again with the hot glue gun, create the bottom tip of your wand by using the glue to make a round ball. I found that by holding the chopstick like so, the hot glue won't fall back on itself and will maintain its rounded shape. Now once the glue is dry, you should have something like this. Now with your glue gun, design the top part of your wand. You can make it as simple or as intricate as you'd like. This is your wand, so have fun with it. Here, I did a spiral design for my wand, and feel free to go back and make any additions to your wand before painting. Now take out a brown acrylic paint. Here I'm using real brown from Folk Art, and with your paintbrush, paint the entire wand. Hey, starting to look more like a wand now, right? Here you can leave it as is, or you can add some depth to your wand. Here I used Black Plum from Americana and Venetian Gold from Metallics. Alright, once you're done painting your wand and the paint has dried, take your sealant spray and spray the entire wand. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, your very own magic wand inspired by the most famous wizard of all, Harry Potter. So now that you've got the goods, you can go out there and fight off those pesky Dementors and Death Eaters. Or try out some new spells. Well, maybe you'll have better luck than me.